Welcome back folks. For this video, I want to cover the recent hubbub, the recent discord or complaints, disappointments with the 5th anniversary event for water tanks. And we'll also talk about the T22 SR nerf and the removal of the rampage mode from the game altogether. So we'll talk about the disappointments, we'll talk about the nerf, but let's get started. So this page is the page that set everybody up for the hype, if you will. So this page was posted March 29th, and the first paragraph is the hype. So April is just around the corner, blah blah blah, but here it is, the bold words, five years of water tanks in the Americas. So join us for celebration with rewards, discounts, and brand new tanks in the premium shop. Woo 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 woo. Awesome, all right. <laughs> so on track to the mouse, all right, blah, 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 tier in three, it's crap. <laughs> the weekly focused uh, tank categories, blah, 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 the German Bulldog, okay. But here is the sentence. So anniversary rewards. So celebrating five years. So starting April 4th, log into Water Tanks, win five battles, and be rewarded for the number of years you've been playing. Rewards will range from premium time to personal reserves and even a premium rare tank. So rare premium tank. But the key word in this sentence is range. So this kind of shows you or puts a picture in your mind that if you just sign up to play water tanks, you'll get something small like personal reserves. Whereas if you have a veteran account like five years plus, for playing in the beta and whatever, you get something super special like a tier 7, tier 8, tier 10 premium or special vehicle. So range is the hyping word, if you will. But yeah, that didn't came out pretty well. So yeah, this is the early hype page. The reality page is this one. This was posted yesterday, April 3rd. So your mission is simple, five years of playing five battles will reap you a lot of rewards, but it turns out you'll get an LTP, a tier three Russian light tank that everybody could have gotten like three times over for the past like three years plus, whatever. So that's super disappointing. That's really disappointing if you think about it because for somebody who just started and to somebody who been playing for five plus years, the rewards are mostly the same because it's the same LTP. I mean, sure, there are difference in numbers of personal reserves and garage slots and a special emblem, if you will, but this is only one emblem, one X emblem. So you can only put on one vehicle and one side and that's pretty much it. So that's a big bummer, but the reward vehicle the reward rare vehicle is the ltp you could have gotten this thing like three times over from the past like uh joystick reward or whatever the golden joystick or anniversary whatever you couldn't got it for free so that's super disappointing now let's get the cons let's get the negatives out of the way first so yes this is a crap vehicle to be given out for veterans like four to five years five year plus you know i was expecting something like the object 244 or maybe the object 777 mark number two or version number two that's a little bit overkill but still you could have gotten the t44 uh, 122 or t44 85 or the object 244 or the ISU 130. Nope, you get an LTP. Uh, or you could have gotten the Scorpion Waffentrager or the Krupp Steyr Waffentrager. I mean, there are so many premium vehicles that's in the reserve, that's in the main directory files, that's not in the game yet. And you're getting an LTP? Holy crap, that sucks. That <laughs> really sucks. LTP, really, for five year plus. I mean, I've been playing for three to four years, so I'm getting like this category, but LTP, really? That's uh, that's super disappointing. So yeah, 
that's the main problem, right? But what I think, so here are the positives. So what I think is this is just a small door prize for you to participate to get. So it's not the main course. It's not the main prize for playing water tanks. So not the main event for the anniversary for water tanks. This is a month long participation reward. So it's a uh, special if you just log in and just participate type of reward because previous years we have the Chinukai as the premium tank for the reward. So this is a tier five premium Japanese medium tank. So this was the reward, which was pretty decent, right? And you get like three days of premium. So whoopee and a bunch of discounts for the third year you got a lot more discounts, discounts, and some premium times, three days. Mm -hmm. Second year, discounts, 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 and no premium time, but only a second year, so whoopee. And the first year is discounts. So there should be discounts, but for this page, it's a month long event. So April 4th to May 2nd, whereas the previous ones are only a weekend. So three days. So here you can see three days, three days, uh, three days. So the anniversary is on April 12th. So it's only three days of events. So what I think this page represents is the door prize, the participation, month long participation for the anniversary. This is not exactly the anniversary gift if you will so i'm expecting something more dramatic something more grandiose if that's a good word on the april 12th or the second weekend for april so this is the door prize i'm hoping i do not want to eat my own words but there may be some light at the end of the tunnel and this could be not the final reward that you're looking for so hopefully that's the case but if that's not the case, if this is the final reward that you are getting, if you've been playing for five plus years, yes, it's disappointing. It's super disappointing. It's very lackluster compared to the previous year, which is Chenu Kai at tier five. Yeah, that pretty much suck. But if this is the final reward that we're getting for this anniversary, that's crap, I know, that sucks, super disappointing, I know, but water tanks and wargaming have the rights of not giving you anything. So what I'm trying to say is don't be too spoiled about this situation because this water tanks is a free to play MMO, all right? It's free to play. You don't have to pay you don't have to have a paid subscription none of that stuff so you don't have to pay and if you think that you've been paying to play water tanks for five plus years for premium times and vehicles then yeah it's not really the case it's not really fair for wargaming to give you something special just because you've been paying a lot of money so it's not a paid subscription like world of warcraft so you don't have to pay to play this game. Wargaming is not liable to give you anything this anniversary. Nothing. So the LTP is crap, but it's something. So don't look at a gift horse in the mouth. But what I'm saying is this could be just a door prize. And we could expect something bigger this weekend or something. But yeah. Or next weekend. But it's the 12th. That's the anniversary. So hopefully this is a door this is a door prize and I'm expecting something bigger. But if this is not the door prize, if this is the final gift that everybody gets. All I could say is this event sucks compared to previous years, but I'm okay with it. I'm not that spoiled. I'm not expecting or entitled for something bigger because Wargaming is not liable to give you something bigger, all right? Just because if you pay a lot of money for different stuff over the years, it still is a free-to-play game. You don't have to pay money, all right? 
The only time I paid money was like three years ago, buying garage slots. And that was when I first started. And that was pretty much it. So, Wargaming is not liable. Trust me. Or don't trust me, whatever. Just hear me out. They are not liable because this is a free-to-play MMO. It's not like a subscription-based game like Guild Wars. Is Guild Wars paid? I don't know, whatever. So, it's okay. It's a crappy GIF. I know. I hate it. I'm disappointed as well. But they are not liable to give you anything at all. So, they don't have to give you anything. So, it's alright, I guess. But compared to the previous years... Yeah, the Chinukai was <laughs> was like light years ahead, so that sucks, but it's alright. So hopefully this is not the final reward. This is just a door prize, if you will, but the final gift should appear or reveal around like next week or this weekend or something like that. But hopefully that's the case. Hopefully I don't have to eat my own words and this is the final reward, but oh well. So let's talk about the T22 SR nerf. So everybody knows the T22 medium tank is broken as hell because the armor, the accuracy is better than the object 140 and just as fast. So basically the open, the OPS, OPS of Russian medium tanks at tier 10. So it's getting nerfed and the rampage mode to get it is being removed. So this just came out. So removal of the rampage mode uh, after your feedbacks and nobody plays this freaking mode, the T22 medium tank will be removed. Well, will be removed from the Rampage mode, so no more personal missions for it. And it's getting nerfed. So if you already have it, good for you, if you will. But it's getting nerfed. So no more ways of getting this vehicle unless they introduce a new game mode for it. But that's down the line. So, yep. No more broken ass T22. Or it's getting nerfed, so we'll see if it's still broken after the nerf. But that's one situation dealt with, I guess. But here is the nerf. So T22 medium is a multi-purpose vehicle that bears all the defining features of Soviet medium tanks, blah, 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 armor, special hull design that's better than the object 907, blah, 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 and nah, 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 all filler, whatever. So here are the primary list of changes. So decrease the vehicle dynamics via tweaking the ground resistance of all types of terrain. So currently, the T-62A, Object 140, has better terrain resistance. So it falls behind those two, along with the Object 907. But the Object 430 is the worst. So the left is the best. The right is the worst. So you can read. So aim time increased. So T62A is the best, then the object 907, the object 140, so you can see, all right. Why is the object 430 the worst tier 10, <laughs> tier 10 Russian medium? Still the worst. So accuracy decreased a lot. Good, it deserves it. The gun dispersion increased, so good, deserves it. So turret traverse decreased, but basically, this thing has almost the same crappy accuracy as the Object 430 now. The same accuracy as the 907. So, uh, yeah, thankfully. But if this got nerfed to 0 0.38, thank you. Why is the 430 so, you know, like, the last? <laughs> but yeah, that's all the nerf for the Object or for the object, for the T22 medium tank. So it's closer to the object 907. Is it fair? Yes. There could be more, in my opinion. So there could be like reduction in DPM by 300. I would go so far to do that, but that's the preliminary changes. There might be more, there might be less, but who knows? So, yep. Thankfully, this OPS vehicle is gone, but the T-22 medium tank is not the symbol that you would think it, it should be. So, if you've been playing ramp Rampage mode a lot, like a god of Rampage mode, then the T-22 should be a symbol of how good you are at playing Rampage mode, right? Like the Object 260 as defining you to be awesome 
and I playing every vehicle category in what it takes for the random mode. But this is basically a symbol of, I wouldn't say rigging, but if nobody plays rampage mode, then obviously if you have a clan, it's super easy to get, you know, together and play this mode and get all the stuff in. So I'm not saying you're a rigger if you already have one, but it's super easy to get one. So it's not a key symbolism of your greatness, if you will. So I'm disappointed about this vehicle, but it is what it is. So it's getting nerfed. Just nerf the DPM by like 300, then we'll be set. Nerf the DPM by 300. Perfect. And finally, let's talk about the buff to the future vehicles. So Panzer 5... 4 ding majig. So this is the tier 6 special order German medium tank, premium. You have to get it from a box to give you the code to get it. But this is getting moved to tier 5, I believe. The STA2 gets a little bit buff with the gun as well as the traverse. The 112 gets a buff. Everybody, everything gets a buff right here. So that's good. The 59 pattern. That needs a heavy buff. So, yep, buff. DPM gets a little bit buff on the Kanana Yak Panzer, I believe. So, yeah. All of these vehicles are getting buff. Alright, these are getting rebalanced, but it's mostly buff. Mostly. So, that's it, folks. So, hopefully, the LTP is the door prize, not the final reward for the 5th anniversary special. Hopefully. And the T22 SR nerf. Uh, thankfully, it's happening, but it's sad to see the Rampage mode being deleted from the game, so... Yeah, oh well, and buff to these vehicles, so yeah. So, don't be too spoiled, that's what I'm trying to say. Don't think that you're entitled to something great if you've been playing World of Tanks for 5 plus years. Wargaming is not liable to give you anything at all. For this anniversary so just don't be too spoiled but i know the gift sucks i know it sucks i'm disappointed myself but just it's it's a free to play mmo all right just it's free it's like playing legal legend legal legends and complaining that riot never gives you skins same concept if you've been playing league of legends for like five plus years or more and you complain that they never give you a skin well they don't do that often so same thing, right? They're not entitled to give you anything because it's a free-to-play MMO. So uh, just be glad they gave you something, something small. But the LTP does suck. I agree. Compared to the last year, Chinukai, if just light years ahead. Ugh. But thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys agree with my thoughts on this subject and this rabbleness. Rabble, 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 rabble. But I'll see you guys next time. Peace.